mountain men use hand wipes. Try to turn this so I can see the screen. Today on Black Rifle Survival, we're uh, reviewing some original wet nap antibacterial hand wipes. Go ahead and get this, I highly recommend it. <laughs> this is made of uh, high carbon plastic. <laughs> Totally eco-friendly. Totally eco Today's video is sponsored by Tri-Tip and Montreal Steak Seasoning. McCormick. That's right. If you're not eating cock soup, you're wrong. <laughs> you gotta say it back east out. Kick. Kick. Some kick soup. <laughs> Up, up, featuring the slide steel. Oh, he's recording, dude. <laughs> Sorry, man. That's all right. oh, I, can, I can edit it and stuff. Kid friendly. Hold <laughs> things up. <laughs> oh, John, bring that back out. What you got? Today I'm sporting the slide steel Skeletech bushcraft knife. Chris and I did a video on this knife probably about eight months ago. Eight, nine months ago. Time flies by so fast. Uh, this is the full production model. This is the OD Green version. Let me get up close because I know you folks want to see that. So there it is. That's available at slysteel.com. Very ergonomic blade. I love it. So we're doing some long-term testing and uh, we're going to probably do a follow-up review on this, probably in a couple months, after we get some more use out of it. As soon as I get Chris to buy one. Hint, hint. <laughs> on the list, on the list. So many knives, so little time. Oh, look at that steak. Oh, man. Hey, we're smoothing it, baby. That's what it's all about. Did I bring a ladder and I'm not prepared. I've just never seen them around. Start this up. Now normally folks use A1 steak sauce and Worcester or something. Well it's like salt a, pepper. Like a seasoning salt on here, but That's a good thing. You make it how you like it. Got a little pepper, got a little bit of salt. Life's good. Just enough marbled fat Ooh. on this tri-tip to give it some awesome flavor. We're going to accompany that with some mac and cheese. And we're also going to do some Bush's baked beans. The uh, Maple cured bacon. Bacon. On that. Because my wife has specific instructions that when I die, a pound of bacon goes in the casket with me <laughs> to the other side. It's going to be a thick cut. That's right. It's thick cut bacon. I love the thick cut maple cured bacon, it's awesome. Or applewood bacon also is really good. Alright bro, fire that up, let's Sounds heat up the good. grill, and we'll get her started. So we're using this Jim Beam grill here, it's got two sides if you want to do asparagus, pancakes, it's got a grease pan drip right here, that's upside down. Really cool cast iron. Now we're stuff. not roughing it today, this is smoothing it out here. We're having fun. Heck yeah. Let me check my battery because I can talk forever and not know if it's dead or not. I need a new battery. So we can rock in the new year. Good go, you know? Yeah, I'm not a fan of the desert stuff. And I got friends that like to go. You know, uh, either, uh, desert, I love it. Love it. Yeah, I can't. I... It's so peaceful out there. I'm just like, at least you can see everything. Well, I mean, there, you, I'll, I'll say this, I'll, I'll find the inner beauty of it and all, but... You know. It really depends where you go, too. 
third bar right. to third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting out there, wanting to get stuck. It's part of the butt pucker factor, so. Yeah, like, sure. Am I gonna get stuck out here and you'll shrivel up and make it out or not? So. Yeah. We can put the beans in that cast iron after we get the uh, tri tip cooked. Sporting my BRS version 2, my Navaretti knives. Starting the Primus Century. Jet boiler in the background. I'll zoom in once I take you guys off the tripod. Try not to burn my face <laughs> for you all today. Uh oh, he's coming in hot. Ah, casting cot. That is a casting cot truck. You yeah. didn't even see us, bro. <laughs> Total clueless. Totally. He was eyeballing that spot. Yeah, he was. Got a full production going on. We film a lot of videos up here in our little secret spot and uh, it's a nice place just to come out. We got the bows. We're doing a little bit of archery today. We're playing around with knives and gear. We're just a chill day. Kind of like an end of the year type uh, just kickback and uh, with some good friends. Awesome uh, views back here. And uh, we're just having a great time. Glad you folks could come along with us. I'm hijacking Chris's video, by the way. Oh, you're good, you're good. <laughs> okay. What am I doing now? Throw, the, throw that grill on, get that bad boy hot, and then we'll then we'll uh, sear those steaks once that grills. We have a little oil, or should be all right. It's gonna be plain grease. I don't think I have oil. I probably should have bought some uh, like spray that's Pam or something, but yeah, no that's a non-stick surface, so hopefully yeah, it should be good. Well, I haven't seasoned it. We got an onion, maybe cut in half. And... Well, for cat cast iron on their first thing, if you're seasoning it, something sweet and sugary, mm. or else the onions, you'll always have that taste in in the cast iron. in the cast iron. Maybe you gonna season it with potatoes or something? Yeah, just something that's not high in acid. Right. Yeah. I just bought another Dutch. Um, so the next time we go, we're just gonna start stacking Dutches on top of each other yeah. with multiple meals, dude. Yeah. We're gonna make lasagna next time we go. Ooh. My wife came out with an awesome lasagna recipe that we tested out in the Dutch in the backyard. Ooh. I'll show you some photos soon. Yeah, yeah. anything Dutch is good. Well, you get the, the pre-made um, lasagna noodles, and you just lay them in. Let's see if I can find it, because we're always testing stuff, you know. Um, here we go. Here's the four stages. Ooh. Wow. That was the final result. Wow, that's awesome. That is amazing. So we got some sauce, fried up some uh, sweet uh, Italian sausage, wow. put that in there, made it pop, you know? Heck yeah. Ooh, sizzle. Dude, I love that sound. That is awesome. Music to the ears. I wish we had smell vision on this. Yeah. <laughs> smell vision would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Because when that steak and that Montreal kicks, it's going to oh. smell freaking <laughs> scrump diddly umptious. Yeah. They're going to call in all the cougars now. Yeah, that's right. Get kitty kitty. Well, we're not talking about the VFW cougars either. That's right. <laughs> Keep those old ladies out of here. No offense to the grandmas out there. <laughs> we're just, we get serious here. <laughs> You want to keep those for place or uh, throw them away? Mm. Oh, it's yeah, like hard tires are off. Yeah, I'm going to throw it away. Probably. That's our crack now. Yeah. Got to pick now. We come out here with air guns too, man. Mm. Yeah. Because I buy the gray ball. That's what I'm doing. I'll just walk Start around and do a little, do a little hunt. Yeah, yeah. Get some close-up action here. 
You guys can smell this. It's so good. You guys getting hungry yet? Just boiling some water, getting ready for some mac and cheese. That jet boil going? That's a dinosaur jet boil. That jet boil has been up and down the coast of California with me many a times on bicycle tours where I would camp on the beach and put that in the um, saddlebags. And I mean, it's been to the desert, it's been everywhere. It's been on top of Mount San Jacinto. So, it, I know it works at least up to 10,800 feet, so it, Hall of Fame item on my channel. Pick one up, guys. Check them out on Amazon. They got a bunch of different models now. But they're efficient and they work. They have a family size. The only thing, the price. Yeah. Family it, size one, it's huge. Because I have the Flash, there's a Sumo that's a little smaller. Yeah, they definitely are a little on the pricey end. Did you stick them? Yep. That's all right. It's gonna pull up. Yeah, it'll stick down for it. All my neck knives, I put a toggle on. So if I if I'm backpacking, say, and I and I trip, and that gets hooked on a branch, yeah. I don't hang myself. It'll snap away. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's the one thing that I was thinking about. Just throwing the knot on there. I'm like, yeah, it's not. Yeah, you want to have that little bit of a safe caution. But if I'm in motion, I do kind of throw them underneath my shirt so they're not flopping around. But still. Good to have that. Uh, my other neck knife, yeah, has a breakaway that uh, good old Doug Wilson put in. I gotta grab the cat there. Come on, I'm back. Smells good. Oh, that looks good. Uh-oh. Cup of it. Woo! It looks like Breaking Bad. <laughs> he's looking to cook meth somewhere. He's in, he's in a hurry. Mobile <laughs> meth. Those guys are out there. That hipster was in hot pursuit. <laughs> I don't know why, but he was in hot pursuit. Mac, baby, Mac. I throttled the heat back just because these only have like two settings. Afterburner and off, so I just don't want the water to boil over. Oh, yeah, Mac does that, it's notorious for boiling over. But I'm actually getting kind of worried, it's leaning a little bit. You get that rolling boil, yeah. trying to catch that with your bare hands. It's gonna be an experience. Yeah, hey, after we eat, we need to find a couple sticks. Let's see if we can't make a try stick yeah. with these knives and how they're going to perform. That's what I was thinking. Big blade. 
versus little blade. There we go. Can the big blade do what the little blade does? That's what I'm testing out today with these particular designs from Bark River. The Gunny Hunter of the Bravo family and the new Dan Tope Vidar or Vidar, Vidar, Viking name. Forest Vida. Warrior. Beautiful well, knives. Definitely beautiful knives. Beautiful knives. Just testing them out and seeing how they work. We're going to see which one's your favorite today. That is correct. <laughs> I do it's like have picking one. between children. That, yeah, this would be more of my hunting, going on a bow hunt, where we still have a nice safe camp to go to where we got all our tools. This would be more of my, we're going to go do some heavy backpacking, pushing out in the back. Uh, do I want to bring an axe or do I want to kind of keep the weight down? Don't want to say one tool option, but that's kind of the term now. As I like to say, chasing the unicorn. Will this be it? We'll see. This with an axe or a bigger blade tends to be the recipe, but so far I'm kind of digging this one. Ever since First Blood came out, we've been chasing that's the unicorn. It. That's that Rambo. Yep, Rambo mentality. And we're all plagued by it. Yeah. yeah. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> good deal, good deal. All right, so stay tuned, guys. We're going to be doing some action videos after we eat because we're famished right now. And we got. The wingman back at the stove here, taking command. These steaks look awesome. They smell great. If you guys had smell vision, you know what? We're going to cut some fat wood and eat some steak. Then we're going to have like <laughs> two, two smell vision tests here. Hell yeah. Prime location. We're underneath a beautiful pine tree. Got the sun right overhead now. Nice breeze, end of December, going into the New Year's, coming up in a few days. We've got some primitive Dude, trad bows. Summer, I mean, where else could you go? And not have snow? And we're up almost, <laughs> yeah. we're like 5,500 feet elevation. Where could you go 5,500 feet elevation, wearing a t-shirt, a sweatshirt? And still be overdressed, exactly. Yeah, and you're <laughs> sweating. Yep. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> For the wind. Got to keep stirring it. We don't want Some stickers Matt on stuck on the bottom. Damn, it's, really good. it's a pretty boy. Pretty burn. That's right. Now we're starting to get the fat smell on that tri-tip kicking in, baby. Into that sizzle. Sizzle vision. <laughs> <laughs> like Willy Wonka. Right. Oh, almost forgot, guys. We got the bushes, baked beans, maple cured be bacon. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, we'll check back in, in a minute here. We're all gonna get situated. We gotta figure out which knives we're using to cut the steak with. That's gonna be a, uh, a toss up. 